Hey guys, it's Kristen again from Magoosh. Welcome to Tuesday ACT, where we bring you some hopefully really awesome tips for the ACT. And today we are talking about the ACT science section, specifically the conflicting viewpoints passage, or as some people call it, the fighting scientists passage, because you have two scientists kind of duking it out, or two students duking it out over a specific scientific issue. And so a lot of students really struggle with this passage or find it really difficult, one, because there's a lot of reading, but two, because the questions are sometimes harder because you have to be synthesizing a lot of information, you have to be interpreting things, maybe there's new information you need to be adding in. So a lot of students like to leave it for last or maybe entirely skip it. But if you are going to tackle it, which you should if you're aiming for a really high score on the ACT science section, here are some tips for how to approach it. First of all, let's talk about what you need to be looking out for as you read. So there's two main things to be looking out for. One is to find the thesis. Hint, it's usually the first sentence of each perspective. So make sure that when you're reading, I know sometimes there's a lot of information in there, there's a lot of scientific jargon and your brain kind of tunes out. Make sure you very slowly and carefully read that first sentence or maybe if there's some intro, it's gonna be the second sentence. Find that thesis and make sure you understand it because so many of the questions are going to come back to that one principal thesis and then you can read the rest of it but kind of tune out the fluff. You don't need to focus on understanding everything because there's so much in there that you are not going to need to answer the questions and if you do need a detail you can go back and reread it when you see that question. The second thing that you need to be looking out for as you read are making sure that you find the similarities and differences between the perspectives and make sure you are marking them on the test. So we'll hint there, use symbols. So what I do when I'm reading the first perspective, I kind of underline the points that the scientist or the student is making. And then when I read the second one, when I find a point that corresponds to a point that the first scientist made, I mark that. And I use numbers, like I put a one next to each point. You could use triangles or stars or symbols or whatever you want to whatever symbols float your boat for that, but make sure you mark that because there's always gonna be some very explicitly stated called attention to similarities and differences between the passages and the questions are definitely going to ask you about them. So you may not know what they're gonna be when you read that first one, but make sure when you underline those points and then you get to the second one or to the third one that you underline what those are and mark them up and match them up. It's gonna help you save you so much time when you are weeding through answer choices. Now let's talk about reading strategies. So there are two basic reading strategies you can employ when you're dealing with the conflicting, the conflicting viewpoints passage. You can either read them all one at a time or you can read them all at once. So here's some, some traits that might put you into one or, or group or the other. So if you feel like you're a slower reader or you or you're struggle with retaining what you read or you just really hate reading about science and you tune out and lose attention, or if you tend to run out of time, you might like to choose the one at a time reading strategy. If you're fast, you love science, you're doing fine on time, maybe you want to read them all at once and do all the questions. So what I mean by this is reading them once at a time is read the first perspective and then go and find the questions that just have to deal with that one. There's going to be some questions on the first one, some on the second, some on both. Do that, then read the second one, answer the questions on that, and then answer the questions that are on all of them. This really helps you focus in and make sure that you don't pick distracting answer choices that maybe were from a different perspective because if you haven't read them all yet, then you wouldn't have even known that that was a possibility if you're talking about just perspective one, for example. So try them both out in practice, see which one works better for you. If you're dealing with the conflicting viewpoints passage last on the test, however, and you're running out of time, always do the one at a time method because there's no point in reading everything if you're not gonna be able to get to the questions. So if you are running out of time, scan through the questions first and see which perspective has the most questions on it. So if that's perspective two or perspective three, if you're on a passage with three perspectives on it, then just read that one first and then answer those questions. You'll be able to get more questions that way without spending time reading a lot of information that you're not going to need. Now finally, one more bonus hint for the conflicting viewpoints passage. If a question says according to the passage, as opposed to according to scientist one or according to scientist two or student one or student two, that almost always means that the answer is going to be in the introductory in the file that appears before the perspective. So that's just a little, a little sneaky hint to find the answer to those questions 
faster. So if you're really running out of time or you're just not sure where to look, if you see a question that says according to the passage, it's probably just in that short little intro part before the perspectives. So those are some tips for how to deal with conflicting viewpoints passage. Make sure you find the theses for each perspective. Make sure you find the similarities and differences as you read and figure out your reading strategy in advance so you're not just totally all over the place and hopefully that will help you out a lot on this difficult science passage. And if you want to practice with some of these conflicting viewpoints passages or all the other types of passages and questions that are on the ACT, you can go to act.magoosh.com. We have tons of practice questions and a lot more video lessons to help you conquer the ACT. And I will see you back here next Tuesday for another episode of Tuesday CT.